Hi, I'm Dale Rogers. I'm uh, a professor here of logistics and supply chain management at the University of Nevada and the director for the Center for Logistics Management. And here's six tips uh, for improving your supply chain and uh, making your logistics function work better. Number one, the first thing you need to do is understand the supply chain. So uh, figure out who's in the supply chain, um, where does stuff come from, where does it go. Tip two, map it. Actually draw a physical picture of what that supply chain looks like. There's always learning that comes out of mapping your supply chain. So how does stuff get from your supplier's supplier? And how does it go to your customer's customer? So map it. It's always good things that come out of mapping it. Number three, trade information for inventory. Inventory is expensive, today information isn't. If you can trade information for inventory, um, you're much more likely to be a long-lasting company. Many firms go out of business because they don't manage inventory well. Trade information for inventory every place you can. Number four, see if you can look into the future with some of the key variables that are going to affect your business. Transportation costs are likely to go up into the future and they're quite volatile. What's gonna happen? How do you hedge your bets? Number five, manage risk. It's not just looking into the future, but think about all the risks that your supply chain faces all of the time. Um, uh, how likely is a supplier to make it or not make it? Um, where are the costs associated to servicing a customer in a different manner? Do a risk assessment. That's certainly something we talk about a lot here at the University of Nevada. And then number six is metrics. Measure, measure, measure. All of you probably heard that if you're not measuring it, you're not managing it. And if you don't understand the metrics that you need to apply to logistics and supply chain management, you need to figure those out somehow. You need to um, spend a fair amount of time making sure that the metrics you put in place 10 years ago are still the ones that you want to have today and maybe maybe perhaps add some more. So, so understand the supply chain, map it, trade information for inventory, try to look into the future, risk management, and then measure, 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 measure.